Welcome to our channel Bright Mass. In this video, we are going to see the shortcut trick to find the prime numbers from 1 to 200. Consider a 12 rows table like this. Take the numbers from 1 to 200. Write it in column wise like this. So start from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then 13 second column 14 15 etc up to 24 and then 25 third column so like that we have to enter the numbers column wise up to 200 now see the first five numbers here we know that 2 3 5 are prime numbers so just to see the first five numbers one is not a prime 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number and 5 is a prime number. Next step, cut the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 6th, 8th, 9th, 10th and 12th rows. So this is the 2nd row, strike out this 2nd row. And then this is 3rd row, strike out the 3rd row. And this is the fourth row, strike out the fourth row full. And then sixth row. And then eighth row. And then ninth row. And then tenth row. And finally, strike out the twelfth row. Now we are left with 4 rows that is 1st row, 5th row, 7th row and then 11th row. We have prime numbers only in these 4 rows. There is one more condition. We have to cut the multiples of 5, 7, 11 and 13. After that, we will get all the remaining numbers, prime numbers. Multiples of 5 means numbers divisible by 5. That means here the numbers ending with 5 are 0. So the numbers ending with 5 are 0 only divisible by 5. That we can identify very easily. And for that, there is an easy way. Here, see the number 25. Just strike out the diagonal having 5 at the end. So here 25 is cancelled. Next we have 85. Here the number is ending with 5. So just strike out the diagonal like this. In this diagonal the numbers are ending with 5. 85, 75, 65, 55, 45, 35. All these numbers are divisible by 5. So we can cancel this diagonal. Next number 145. And just to cancel this full diagonal. That is 145, 135, 125, 115, 105, 95. All these numbers are ending with 5. That means divisible by 5. So we can cancel this. Next, take this diagonal 195 that is ending with 5. So, in this diagonal, we have 185, 175, 165, 155. Now, we have cancelled the numbers divisible by 5. Next, multiples of 7 that means divisible by 7. For that, also, there is an easy way. There are only two diagonals, two crossed lines, but you have to take it in opposite direction. We know that 7 7s are 49. So remember this diagonal 49 diagonal 49 63 77 91 105 119. All these numbers are divisible by 7. So we can cancel this. 
Next, see the number 133. This is divisible by 7. So, cancel this diagonal. 133, 147, 161, 175, 189. These numbers are divisible by 7. So, we can cancel this diagonal. Next, for 11 and 13 also, there is an easy way. For 11, we know the condition for the divisibility of 11. Sum of odd digits equal to sum of even digits. Here we have only 3 numbers. That is 121. Here sum of odd digits. That is 1 plus 1. First number plus third number. 1 plus 1, 2. That is equal to second number 2. So, this is divisible by 11. Next number 143. First number 1, third number 3. Adding this 1 plus 3, 4. That is equal to middle number 4. So, sum of odd digits equal to sum of even digits. Therefore, this is divisible by 11. Next number 187. This also divisible by 11 because first number 1, third number 7, adding this 1 plus 7, 8. That is equal to the middle number. So, only these 3 numbers are divisible by 11. Remember 121, 143, 187. And finally, for the number 13, there is only one number divisible by 13 here. That is 1. 169. This also we can remember very easily because 13 13s are 169. So now we have cancelled the numbers divisible by 5, 7, 11 and 13. And that's all. All the remaining numbers are prime numbers. Therefore, the numbers are already we have 2, 3, 5 and now 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, 97, 101, 103, 107, 109, 113, 127, 131, 137, 139, 149, 151, 157, 163, 167, 173, 179, 181, 191, 193, 197 and finally 199. These are the prime numbers from 1 to 200. In this way we can find the prime numbers very easily. Thanks for watching.